Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be taking a look at this box. This arrived from China. We're going to be unpacking, seeing what's in there, and then having a play around with the pen once I've put some ink in it. So join me now down on the mat and we'll dig in to this box. So here we are down on the mat. What I've done is I've gone ahead to make things easier and I've sliced open the end of the box. I haven't actually opened it yet. So let's get in now and let's see what's in this parcel. So opening it up and what comes out, we've got a whole load of bubble wrap around another white box, really well packaged. And I find a lot of the pens that I get from China, they come with this really good level of packaging. So let's quickly get into the bubble wrap. Here we go. And here comes the box. So it's a standard type of box that you expect from Pen BBS. And this is a Pen BBS. It's a model 456. It's the first time that I've tried this 456. The advertising bum for it says it's a Pen BBS 456 resin transparent quality negative pressure fountain pen, fine 0.5 millimeter nib vacuum filling student writing gift. They get as many words as they can into these adverts on AliExpress, don't they? But yeah, this, it should be a Pen BBS model 456. And the pattern, as we can see here, it's cloud. So let's take the box outside out of this sleeve. So removing the box from the sleeve, we've got this gorgeous black box. I mean, one thing about Pen BBS, they know how to do presentation. So here we go. So we've got Pen BBS on the top. And that's really it. Other than that, it's a fairly plain box. Nice and minimal. I really like that. Then at the front, we've got this little thing here and that just that flap it just comes up to reveal the pen inside a plastic sleeve again look at this it's really well padded you know you've got this reel here this foam keeping it in place let's just lift the pen out first is there anything else in the box no we've just got that nice little decorative foam at the bottom so i've got to be honest pen bbs as i've said their packaging they really are good at it so let's put that away and fetch in and look at the pen. So we've got the plastic sleeve. It just slides out of that plastic sleeve to reveal this gorgeous Pen BBS 456. I'm just going to fetch in my stand. Let's pop that on there. I mean, just look at this. As I said, the pattern is called Cloud. You've got this, the white of this. I'm thinking it's some kind of acrylic. But then you've got little transparent swirls in it. I'm not sure how much of this comes over on the camera. I'm just slowly spinning it around just so you can see. I mean, it's the first time I've seen this pen and it's breathtaking. It's so nice. So have a little bit more of a detailed look. So we start on the top here. So here on the finial, you know, it's still got that whiteness there. And look, we've even got some of the transparency. You know, they're taking really attention to detail. They're making sure that everything really matches. We'll lay it back down. So from that top, top, it seems to be straight initially, and then it flares out really quickly down to this silver colored clip. The clip, oh, it's so stiff. I mean, I can't even, oh, I can just about shift it really is stiff stiff to the point i would say it's unusable at the moment that might get easier as i use the pen as it goes in and out of my pocket but at the moment i'd say it's really stiff yeah look at this look at this cap here it's so nice now one thing i am noticing there's here all the way around you can see a ring which is inside the cap i think that's from uh, the sealing mechanism that's inside the cap. I'll have a look in a second. But yeah, we come down. It's slightly tapering to about here. And then it seems to be straight. And it goes down to this metal band. So this is the silver color. So what have we got here? We've got Shanghai. Pen BBS. 456. So nice, again, nice and simple. 
and this it's at the end of the cap so the metal goes straight down down then to the body there it doesn't seem to be a step or anything like that really nice to see i really like the attention to detail that is coming through already on this pen so then we go down and again it seems to be more or less the same width to about here to about halfway along the body then it starts tapering off again to another metal band and then from there into the end cap which is what's used to drive the me mechanism for filling it so let's take a cap the cap off so i'll just put that back on again so we go half one one and a quarter one and a half turns that's not bad and that reveals a plastic feed we expect a plastic feed i mean it is coming from china it is a pen bbs the section here a bit like an hourglass so it's it's starting out wide it's coming in and then it's going back out wide again until it comes to these metal threads and then there's a little bit of a step up there into the body at the end of this section because it's flaring out there's no actual step at the end I'm hoping that means it's not going to hurt when I am writing for a long time because some of the ones where they've got that lip at the end, I find them really awkward to use. Let's turn it over and we'll look at the nib. So there it is. It's just a gorgeous nib. It's like all pen BBS nibs. I mean, I haven't found one that I'd really took like the look of. It's got mainly silver with that gold colored scroll work in there. We've got pen BBS and we've got F for fine. So we know that this is, this is a fine nib. One of the things I do get a little bit frustrated at with a lot of the Chinese pens, they only tend to do fine nibs. I'd love to be able to order a pen and it come with a broad nib or a medium nib. You know, it, it's a little bit frustrating when you've only got that one size of nib. Let's pop the cap back on. I'm going to fetch in a couple of other pens now. So as I said, this is a four, five, six. Let's 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 leave that nib there. I mean, that's what we want to see, isn't it? We want to see the nib. The next pen I'm going to fetch in. It's another pen BBS, and it's another vacuum filler. This one is the two six eight. So this is a cheaper version. It's a transparent body, as you can see. It's still got that pen BBS nib, but it's just all silver. I do have some frustrations with this pen. Let's be honest, it's a pen BBS. It will write nice. They all write nice. One of the issues I have here is with the filling mechanism. So as I say, this is a vacuum filler. So you unscrew the cap, you pull it out, and then you push it back in. And what's happening when you're pushing it back in, this is tight up to about here. So you're creating a vacuum behind the plunger. Then when you get down near the end, which is about here, it widens out and that's what releases this vacuum and it sucks the ink in. A really ingenious way of filling. One of the things I find with this though is because the plunger is such a tight fit, if, if the plunger is down or even slightly up, no ink flows. If it's down, well what's happening is it's actually sitting off here, the section, so you get a little bit of ink in here, but no more can get through. What I have to do is I have to, with this one, pull the plunger out, wait till the ink gets round it, then slightly push it down. But then I have to write for the rest of the time with the plunger up. Otherwise, I'm pushing ink out. So this is something I'm hoping that's been addressed with that 456 model. Next pen I'm going to fetch in. Again, this is another vacuum filler. This is a Twisby. It's the VAC 700R in the iris pattern. I've got to be honest, absolutely gorgeous pen. Really love this pen. What this has got, again, it's got the same mechanism. So if I untwist the end, you know, so it's got this same mechanism where you push down, you're creating the vacuum, gets to the end where it flares out and it sucks the ink in. Now, what this has is here, I don't know if you can see the bottom of the plunger. When I screw that in, that pushes down and that creates a really good seal which stops any ink getting from the body down into the section. Then when you're writing, you have to loosen off the top, which pulls out this plunger so the ink can flow. It works really well. And I'm hoping that the 456 is using something more like this mechanism than it is with that 286. So I'm just going to pop these away. I'm now going to step away. I'm going to clean out this pen. And then when I get back, we'll look at the ink I'm going to use. We'll ink it up and then we'll do a writing sample. 
So here I am back. I've given the pen a quick flush through with some warm water just to get rid of any gunk that may have been left in the mechanism. And now it's time to look at the ink. So the ink I've decided to use is Diamine Merlot. I've not used this ink in any pens before, so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. But it's a beautiful, it's like a purpley colour, but there's hint, more hints of red in it. It's really nice. I, I like the look of it. To me, it's like looking at a glass of Merlot wine as I'm sat there on an evening and just swirling it round and looking at the colours. So this is by Diamine, as I say. It comes in this bottle. This is a 30 milliliter bottle. You can buy it in a larger bottle as well, but because I've never used it before, I got it in this size. Now, normally I would buy samples, but when I was having a look around, I usually pay about four Australian dollars for a four milliliter sample bottle. This was 30 milliliters for nine Australian dollars. So I thought, well, it's just over double the price, but I'm getting so much more ink. So yeah, I quickly snaffled that. So now let's open it up. Just sort of quickly give it a shake. Let's take the lid off and let's have a look at this gorgeous ink in the bottle. So there we go. So we take the pen. This is where I'm hoping the pen will fit in. Yes, it does. The One of the issues I've got with these is some of my wider pens. They just don't fit in because the body's too wide. So I unscrew the cap. Pull out the plunger. You can you see the plunger moving on the inside of the body. So let's take the pen. Oops. Insert it into the ink. We're getting a bit of a spillage there. I'll have to be mopping this up in a minute. I'm a messy devil today. And here we have the fill in the pen. Now, can you see here the ink inside? This is why I got this pattern. So you can see the ink flowing inside there. So let me just seal this up. I'll just quickly wipe it off, put the cap back on, and then I'm just gonna pause the video whilst I clean it. So note to future self, don't fill a vacuum filler from a full diamine bottle. Right, let's get the pen out of the way. So let's fetch in the trusty notepad. So this is by Oxford and it's using the optic paper. So it's a really nice, bright white fountain pen friendly paper. So we're fetching the pen. So I say here's a pen on the paper. I think you can see a little bit better the ink. You can hopefully see it coming through the camera. You know, definitely through these transparency, you can see it. And the white is thin enough that you can see it there. So we've got the dark color. So again, one of the reasons why I picked a dark ink is to really see this. So let's see how well it writes. So the cap's off. So we have here a pen, BBS, 456 with a fine nib, and this is in the cloud pattern. So far, feeling quite nice. The ink, Diamine Merlot. So on first look, it seems a really nice ink and pen. Yes, it's a fine pen, not much you can do about that. The ink, looks like there's quite a bit of shading coming through. You know, look at the four, five, six. We've got different colours in each of them. Also, as it dries, it seems to dry a little bit paler, but really liking the look of it. Let's see what it's like for wetness. So first, we'll go for an immediate. Not too bad. We'll wait for 10 seconds. Yep, still some wetness there. I'll wait now for 30 seconds. Again, it's dry enough quite nicely, but there's still quite a bit of wetness. Now, last test, we'll wait for one minute. So after one minute, well, that's nice and dry now. So yeah, it's not the quickest drying ink, but it's not the worst I've seen. For the next test, I'm going to move the microphone close to the paper. I'm going to shut up for a few minutes and I'm just going to write so you can hear what it sounds like. I 
that's actually not too bad but it's a pen bbs i would say they all perform really nice out of the box anyway i can't really think of any pen bbs nibs that i've had a problem with i mean it writes you know let's just quickly do this you know so i'm, I'm going to continuous writing and the ink's keeping up the flow is still there It's really nice to write with. Let's do some swirly things, some eights. I know my fast writing is atrocious. My my not fast writing isn't the best at the best of times. But yeah, fast writing, I wouldn't even attempt to read my own writing. But it looks nice. The pen is performing really well. So let's pull this out of the way. Now here we are. This is the pen BBS 456 in the cloud pattern with Diamine Merlot at the moment. My first impression, really like it. I absolutely love the looks. The pen looks gorgeous. I mean, I don't know how well it comes over on the camera, but I mean, this is so, so nice. I've got to be honest, I'd have to say this is the nicest acrylic or whatever material or resin, whatever the material is that I've got. You know, it beats the pants off my Moonman M800s. And I love them. But this pattern, I mean, it's just so nice. And I think it's one of these where I'm going to end up collecting more of these in different patterns, obviously, just to see if they're all the same high quality. The writing so far is fine. It's hard to make a quick judgment on that because it's something you've got to really live with and play around with, especially with a vacuum filler, because if you're not careful, you know, you've got to make sure you keep an eye on this because you've got to make sure there's still air flowing through Otherwise, you get a big issue with ink starvation because you form a vacuum in here because as the ink is coming out, there's no air coming in to replace it, which means that the nib will stop writing. So I've just got to play around with this and experiment and really see how it goes. Would I recommend this? Based on my first impression, I would recommend this pen to anybody. I'm going to need a few weeks where I'll be playing around with it. I want to try some different inks in it to see how the different inks work. And then I'll be doing a full review in time. Now, although this video is coming out during March, you'll actually find that this pen is in my March selection of pens in use. That's because I'm filming this in February. But I wanted to get this recorded, this unboxing, and then the earliest I could schedule it was March. So look out for my pens in use. You'll get more ideas about how I'm going on with this pen by looking at that. But yet certainly my first impression, wow, what a gorgeous pen. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit that thumbs up button, give it a like. Have you got this pen? Have you got this ink? Are there any other inks you could recommend that I try in this pen? I'd love to kickstart the conversation down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.